welcome back. Well, hey guys, welcome back. Sorry about that, the mic kind of cut out really quickly. So today we're just going to go do the last level because I am sick of grinding on these guys. And as you can tell, I uh, finished up one of my breeding charts for him. Uh, the first one here is the Lord Draco uh, breeding line. And so the next level here is Limbo. So what you want to do is you got to make sure you talk to Waraboo. Um, this is part of the footage that I actually lost for good. And he gives you the Har Mirror, the Tidal Bell, and the Sky Shield. Um, <clears throat> it's just unfortunate. They take up three inventory slots of your actual inventory. They do count. So make sure that if you want to go and like get monsters or like carry a bunch of ribs and do stuff, make sure to go do it. Um, so anyways, I did a bunch of breeding. And I got a... Bone, uh, I got, I did two, two bone knights and got a dead noble here. Kept raiding him over and over again to get him to, uh, plus 12. To note, the dead noble here is at max level, same thing with the trumpeter, and that little star designates that. I never went over that, but that means you've hit the max level, they can no longer grow, these are their max stats. So as you can see, they're nowhere near perfect, but... Um, they're gonna be way more than enough for the end of this boss. It just happened so that it took me very long time to get uh, Lord Draco here. And because it took him forever to get and it took me a really long time, he just ended up being they grew those levels really quickly. I was not planning on them growing so fast. So, anyways, <clears throat> you come up here and you're gonna find this guy right here, and you hand him over the treasures. Tidal Bell, Harmir, and the Sky Shield. Oddly enough, that's a really good monster. <clears throat> so, what he has here is a Centasar, a Giga Draco, and... Oh, God, I wouldn't remember what that one is. <laughs> it's not really that important, though. Um, thanks to just note, um... Right now, I have a designated healer in the form of my Trumpeter, because he has Warcry and Revive. Uh, we're just going to stun them real quick. I'm just going to twin hits Kanza. But you are basically expected to, at this point, at least have a, um, have a decent team. Um, at least one designated healer, if not all of them having heal us or heal us all. Um... At least one person with revive, and at least one person with uh, either twin hits, and white air, and white fire, if not all three. Um, so they have about a thousand HP each, all of them, even the Guardian. Um, the Guardian is fast, but he's very weak. Uh, the Sensusar is kind of in the both of attack and defense, and the Giga Draco just has a ton of HP and a ton of strength. So, he actually just dies? I don't know, you never hear from him ever again, by the way. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know what happens here, but essentially you got the monsters from the outside, which is Great Drake, uh, Boss Troll, and Chop Clown, and um, the little Misty, uh, Misty Wing. In here, and then you also get a couple other monsters while you're in here. Now, note this place does disappear after you beat the game. So, if you want something specifically, and that monster is pretty much Stone Man, um, and you need him for breeding charts, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. He's not that great. Um, he just happens to be in here. There's nothing really worth uh, going over in here. So, when you go through here, you're gonna see all these treasures. You can't grab anything. But you now will face the end boss. So, Derek, um, he's, she, whatever it is, is actually very easy. Um, Just pretty much uh, load up on twin hits on all your characters, and you can pretty much win the fight in one turn. Um, she will constantly use Giga Slash, so here I'm just going to guard here to show what the final boss of the game has. 
and I'm just gonna use twin hits on all of them to you know, end it really quickly. Uh, but she has Giga Giga Slash, and if my monsters were somewhere around Lord Draco's stats right now, which is pretty much where you should be, um, uh, that actually does quite a lot of damage. And she's hitting my guys with uh, really high defense, really, really hard. Um, and that's just with her. Um, she counts as a boss monster. She's not very strong um, otherwise, but she also has D magic. And this D magic here gets rid of your twin hits. So don't be uh, planning on resorting to it the whole time. Because um, I can just pretty much just press A and win, so it's not like, you know, I can, I'm not going to really waste it. Um, I want to make sure we go over everything. She has Panic All, which is Confusion. Whoops, accidentally pressed A. Um, she has quite quite a number of health. I think it's somewhere, like, close to 3,000. I'm not entirely sure. Um, otherwise, she's not that bad. Um, just look out for the Panic All. If you do get confused, maybe some items that snap you out of Confusion is better, but... It's not really necessary because you can kind of just use Revive or Life Song. You're expected to have both. She also has Firebolt. Um, she doesn't really use it though. It's pretty bad. Um, all of her spells are pretty weak. Like once again, she's re really easy for a final boss of the game. Um, all the monsters that you do in the uh, side worlds that you fight uh, earlier are actually much stronger than her, um, and it's kind of disappointing. So your game automatically takes you over to this. You can't. You have no control of your character anymore. So Warabu freaks out because he thinks the island is going to still sink despite the fact that we've plugged the gap. Well then, out of nowhere... Okay, so basically all the gratitude from everybody and uh, around all the other worlds that you've been to allows you to save the world. So you talk to Kamea, you talk to this guy here, 
And basically, you know, there's not really much said. Oh, sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear, but uh, there's a fire uh, truck uh, driving by. I apologize about that. Alright, and then that's basically the soft ending to Dragon Warrior Monsters 2. Um, obviously, there's now a cut, little cutscene. Uh, and then, next episode, I'm going to go over a lot of the extra stuffs. Alright, so until next time, I'll leave you guys to the credits.